He's full of excitement. Lords and ladies, please come in closer. For all six of you. Seven? I don't know how to count. I'm a Northlander. Four? Excellent. He lies. There's more. <laughs> now, just to let you know, normally, I come out here and we try to get over to tell a story. And that it's rat bag over. keeps skipping out on it. So instead of that today, I've decided that I wanted to come out and I wanted to ask you, the audience, your thoughts. Oh, for God's sake. Really? Here, let's get ahead of this. The Kulanis have come to you begging for help, like you said, because that's what Kulanis do. That's what they've always done. Just like what Northlanders always do is fail. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, I was there in the Great War, let's be simple. <laughs> All they do is fail. I fought your kind. I watched it over and over. And it's might that makes right. You know that better than anyone. It's the victors that write the histories. And what is history going to say now and ever on afterwards about the Northlands? The violent idiot barbarians who never managed to accomplish oh, anything. Is that upsetting? Are you angry? Do you not like it? Change it. Little Faye, you are right. I agree with you. Our past has not always been the most proud, and we have made mistakes. Perhaps now is a great time to change things. What do you say, audience? Do you think we need a change? Hi! Hey! Hello! All right. The first thing I'm going to change is your face. Oh. Ah! Oh. Oh. On with the show! <laughs> I can't believe Sorry was a dark fae. Told you that. I can't believe she possessed Major Bastion. Told you that, too. <laughs> I know you told me that, but you weren't very convincing. Look, I could have stopped her. Hmm, let's see. A dark fae with the power to seduce men's minds and her two fanatical acolytes bent on murder against a lone warden with an injured knee. Who do you think comes out the victor? You mean to say, after all that we've been through today, you would not have helped me? Marcus, again, you know I cannot. The Archmagus has forbidden it. I am only to... I know, I know. Observe and report. I get it. Well, unfortunately, now I have that task. Um, I do not follow. I was speaking to one of the Legionnaires a few moments ago. He told me of some military activity that's happening just to the south of Ansol. Now, since this rumor is unfounded, General Gellerin does not want to weaken this town's defenses by sending troops to find out what's going on. Marcus, so I've decided to do it. Marcus, you are, your duty is here, protecting me. I know it is. But if I can verify the size and direction of whatever it is out there, I can come back and warn the town, and in turn, I can protect you. You are wounded. If you are intercepted, you won't be able to... I know, and that's a risk I have agreed to take. I mean... Maybe I'll find Lady Sorry first, and I'll be able to bring her in for treason. Yeah, if she doesn't kill you first, or worse, corrupt you like she did with Major Bastion. I find your lack of faith in me disturbing. It is not a lack of faith. It is just general concern. I can't remember ever serving under him. I, I know. Bad joke. Look, observe all you will and report to whoever you must. Maybe Bastion will be returned to us and this curse will be lifted. And I cannot change your mind. Elira, if there is something bad out there, I cannot just sit here. Marcus, be careful. See you soon. So now to the task at hand. Let us 
see if any elven magics can alleviate the mage. That's all I've got. Let me try dwarven magic. <laughs> nope, nope, no, that didn't work either. Mash! <coughs> so, the Major is still trying to kill the North One. Our healers have not been able to do anything about his affliction except confirm that it is some form of enchantment. Don't you people have mages nearby? Or a crystal ball or some such to summon one? <laughs> no magi of the spirit order calls Vansal home. And even seeing a lone magus was a rare sight before the war. I've drafted and sent a letter to the library at Anli in hopes of having one sent here, but I fear it will not reach them in time. Perhaps one of your tribes. One of the Volvacono would make short work of this. However, we face the same problem that you do in getting someone here in time. Also, considering the situation, I am not at liberty to bring more of my people here. I understand, but I had to ask. I understand as well, Counselor, and it is not my intent to keep denying you. However, given the circumstances, until I have the truth of matters, I cannot bring any more of my people here. Of course. But, Legionnaire, you were the one that threw themselves in front of the blade to save our lives. Uh, yes, sir. Chief Ragnar, uh, Sar Sergeant Bink at your service. He'll tear your stitches. What you did was no small feat. You attacked a higher ranking officer. You had no idea if you were given orders to kill us by your general, one of the Allied Council. Yet still, you threw yourself in front of the blade. Why? Um, um no. No, Chief Ragnar, sir. Begging your pardon, um, Legionnaires don't act that way. They don't just kill without reason. We saw the Major coming at you with a sword, and we had to stop him. The Allied Legion protects people. All people, sir. Well said, Corporal. Indeed. In any case, you both have the thanks of myself and my fellow chieftains. Thank you. We three are in agreement upon this much. We do not hold the Legion responsible for the Major's attack on us. And your actions have shown that, that you are not the enemies to us that you once were. At least, not all. But, before we can talk any further about whether or not we will fight at your side in this little conflict, we want whoever is behind this attack brought before us. There can be no lasting alliance if there is even the thought someone inside your government is waiting to betray us. Of course, honored chieftains. I thank you for your patience and give us the time to uncover the true perpetrators of this act. Orc said Lady Sarid was behind it. Do you it think is. it's true? I really cannot believe the claims that the warden has, but I can't dismiss them any further either. Well, counselor, sir. Just counselor, each and every minute. Okay. Before the tournament, the major was walking with Lady Sari, and he was acting <clears throat> odd. I heard them discussing dealing with all the wretched little things that dwell here. I thought it sounded ominous, but I did not think it would lead to all of this. We'll keep that in mind if Ulrich manages to find and bring the Lady Sari in. It's obvious that she had a plan to escape in place, so I'm not sure that sealing the city even matters. <laughs> Auric is looking for her. Auric will find her. You seem so sure of that. The Glenless is many things. Among them, he is one of the best hunters that I have ever seen. If the Warden is looking for you, he will find you. Oh, if only I had some way to hear those words from now until the end of time. <laughs> <laughs> Bring forth your prisoner! Huzzah! Huzzah! What an orange! Counselor! <laughs> <laughs>
I see that your hunt was a successful one. Yes. Was it necessary to gag her? She is a lady of the Fairy Queen's court, after all. Some decorum is required. Counsel, she bewitched a major of the Allied Legion into attempting to assassinate one or all of the clan chiefs that are visiting your village and ruined any chance of asking them for help. Given the Major is now looking at me as if he could kill me with his mind, I thought it was a good idea to restrain the Fey Witch, so she couldn't do the same to anyone else as I brought her here. Yes, well now the Lady Sorry is here, and there are formalities to be maintained. Remove the gag, Warden. General, would you be so kind as to have a few of your Legionnaires restrain the Lady Sorry? Of course. Lady Sorry, the charge has been levied against you that you bewitched the Major Bastion in an attempt to assassinate one or all of the Northland delegation visiting the city. How do you respond to these charges? Dear, pale arm, friend, counselor, <laughs> obviously these charges are completely ridiculous. The warden and that monster of a warden is simply lying to cover for that friend of his. He has absolutely no proof whatsoever. And the fact that he would make these claims is insane. In fact, uh, I demand that he be arrested. The warden is doing his duty to the best of his abilities. And should you prove to be innocent, I will see that Head Warden Drake has him severely reprimanded. But that is if you are indeed proven innocent. Of of course I'm innocent. Why would I want to kill a Northland chieftain? I mean, I know you people think the children of Kyuki as odd, but we're not monsters. Where's your proof, Warden? Let's start with the Major's enchantment. The man is not only out of his mind, he's been ensorcelled by powerful magic. There are no Magi or acolytes within a dozen leagues of Von Saul, so that leaves fey magic. That is ridiculous. Yes, we all carry with us some small talent or skill, but what you're suggesting is completely ridiculous and the worst kind of fear mongering. I am familiar with some of the magics the children of Kyuki possess, and what has happened to the major goes far beyond mind tricks and delusions. What you are suggesting is simply beyond them. Not all of them, Counselor. I should have first noticed when Lady Sari's bodyguards referred to her as mistress, and were more overprotective of her than any normal bodyguard would be. The Queen of the Fae is protective of her people, but she would not hire fanatics. Later on in the tournament, I noticed that Major Bastion referred to Lady Sari as mistress. I admit I was a bit aggravated and didn't think anything of it at the time. And you are thinking too much of it now. The Major is a man, a very attractive man, <laughs> who knows how a lady of the fairy court is to be treated, you disgusting monster. He's about to try something clever, isn't he? Oh, God. This and after what Skeld said, I'm never going to hear the end of this. What are you two on about? Oh, oh no. no. Wait for it. What uh, is the meaning of this, Warden? What is that in your hands? You know, I, I think Lady Sorry knows what it is. No, no, don't let him near me with it. He's obviously been struck in by the same madness as his friend. No! <laughs> Release me, no, don't! Ah! You! 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 You misbegotten! Insignificant speck of a mortal! How dare you release me? Oh no, you don't. Not a fan of cold iron, are you, Lady Sarin? Sar Fay, but your kind were banished to dry out ages ago by the. Yes, by your wretched dream man and the other unseen. Forced to abandon our birthright, our power, all in the name of your wretched 
ballot. Why would the Unseen side with Dominion? You think that once you lane is in flames, the Dominion will stop there? Once your disgusting mud hole of a country is ground under their boot, they will make their way to Kyuki, and they will kill every last member of that fluttery little monarch circle. And the Sovereign will guarantee that the Unseelie rise to power again. Damn, I'm good. Oh. <laughs> Madness! The Sovereign would just as soon grind the Unseelie into dust as he would any other fae. You have no guarantee that he would not just simply grind you into dust unless you made a deal. The Unseelie stand at the side of the Sovereign. And we will see you both! Master, please, your servant pleads to you, destroy no. them all! No. So, your gambit has failed, and now I'm forced to take the field and as a mongrel, nonetheless. Master, please, I did all I could. I, I did as I was told. Even now, the North End chieftains are all here, ripe for the slaughter. Village! Just like the rest of the creatures in these lands, blighted by the cancer of the unseen. Weak! But with potential, rise. What are you? I am he who sits upon the radiant throne. The power that drives the heart of the dominion is mine. Broken free of the deep slumber forced upon me eons ago. I am the sovereign. And those who do not bow before me will see everything they are. Burn in cleansing fire. You are nothing. You are but the trick of a deluded fairy. And we'll hear no more of it. Legionnaires, take the major prisoner alive. Ugh. Ignorant fools. Ugh. Ah, down, boy. All right. So you're the sovereign. Why are we all not dead in your hands? An offer. Then slaughter. To the keeper with your offer. So if any member of the Allied lands would dare traffic with an abomination like you. If I wish to hear the milling protestations of a worm, I'd run a hook through it. And I have nothing to offer the doomed of these lands. But for those who dwell to the north, for those who have seen the unseen, for the monsters they are, who have tasted defeat because of their balance, to them a most promising proposal. Let me get this straight. First you fail, miserably I might add, to have us killed. Now you wish to talk? If you were weak enough to fall, you wouldn't be worth the offer. And it's a simple offer. Join me. Join the Dominion. What? Life in the North is hard, and it breeds strength. Warriors that can serve alongside my own and reap the glory from destroying your ancient enemies. Former enemies, who we do not wish to see dead, only that we be treated fairly as the other races were. <laughs> fair? There is no fair. There's only what you can take, what you can keep. And for that you need power. Power that is the dominions. Those who worship power rarely share it. These people came to us as allies. <laughs> you would make us slaves. Serve me, or see your tribes, your families, everything you are burned! Well, Sovereign, you will not need to wait long for our answer. Because now, 
The Northlands comes for you! No! So be it! You cast your lot in with them! You will all die like them! Master, speak. Bold words! If I'm willing to bet if I cut your tether, that's all they are! No! <laughs> You're not worth wasting the power on. You'll all be gone soon enough. What are you all about? General, Counselor, Scouts has spotted an army marching on Vonsall. What? What are you talking about? They are only a few hours out, and they are flying Dominion banners. Oh. Enjoy the rest of your festival. It shall be your last. If this is to be our last stand, then by the we, I will make damn sure that you do not live to see it. Come then, destroy this shell. Just another to fall for the glory of the Dominion. You will come for soon enough, but your creature, she will not live to see our fall. That is where you mistake me for my flighty cousins. They refuse to plan ahead. Uma! Ah! This is, no, that's the Mistress, we're here. Obviously. Now get us out of here. Lead us from here, dog. Fire command. Dominion, kill as many as you can. Finally, a fight! No thunder! Kill them! Oh. Sergeant Corporal, gather on the soldiers. Capture them before they get out of the city. As much as it galls me, General, it seems we have more things to worry about than just recapturing the Lady Sarai and the Mayfair. Aye. A Dominion army bearing down on our walls. We've been strengthening them since the start of the war, but they are not strong enough to withstand an extended siege. We hadn't expected them to be able to strike this far north yet. I cannot in good conscience order an evacuation. Perhaps we could have a letter sent to one of the neighboring towns or forts. Have a contingent of soldiers sent within a day's notice? We have little choice. The walls of Vonsall will hold. I'll dispatch messengers immediately. Council of Phalon. We do not mean to add to your troubles. As a matter of fact, we would have a request of you. Chief Ragnar, honored chieftains, please accept my deepest apologies to the turns these talks have taken. It was our every intention to have you here to talk of joining us, but never to put you in such peril as this. <laughs> no problem at all, Counselor. As a matter of fact, we quite enjoy it. We actually would like to offer you our assistance. Oh, Chief Ragnar, if you wish to accept our plea for assistance, I only wish we could celebrate with less pressing matters at hand. I believe that uh, you may have mistaken my intentions, Counselor. What do you mean? Well, as you see before you, oh, well, as you know, us Northlanders, we are a strong and proud people, but we are not stupid. Nor are we naive, Dust! <laughs> so while you may see three Northlander no, chiefs here. before you. We did not come alone. What? Out there! Less than an hour north of Vonsal lie several warriors from our tribes, plus a few others. Wait for us. You mean to tell me I told you this is going that good. you've had <laughs> your own army just outside of our walls this entire time, and we didn't notice? <laughs> I told you he'd be pissed! <laughs> uh, not so much as an army general, but more than enough to match the Dominion forces. That is, of course, Counselor, if you will allow us to return 
our answer to the Sovereign personally. Northlanders and Cule, fighting side by side. Think of it as a vision of what the future might hold. Very well, then. General, with your permission, I would like to have my Northlanders fighting side by side with your legionnaires against the Dominion. Who would Chief Ragnar. It would be my honor. Over, Skeld, go out, gather our people, bring them back here, and let them all know that tonight the Northlands go to war. Huzzah! 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 I think I was a bit mixed. Cheer! Huzzah!